What is going on guys? John here from Cooking with John. Thanks for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. I would appreciate that. Got a special video coming at you today making homemade salsa. And what's special about this video is I'm actually going to be using tomatoes uh, that I grew outside as well as the green peppers that I grew outside. So really, really, really exciting stuff. And one of the neat things about homemade salsa is you can really kind of mix and match ingredients and develop your own salsa depending on what flavors you might like to create something that tastes really, really good to you. So this is my salsa recipe. I've got 15 small tomatoes that I, like I said, I grew outside in the garden. I've got three relatively small green peppers, which I also grew outside. Really, really excited and proud about that. I've got two medium onions, one white and one red. I'll be throwing in a couple cloves of garlic. I've also got three cans of diced green chilies. These are four ounces a piece. Gonna be putting in a little fresh cilantro, red wine vinegar, a dash of olive oil, and a little bit of lime juice. And I will be making this salsa today in my handy dandy food processor. So I've pretty much just kind of chopped all my vegetables up here. I've got my peppers in a bowl. I've got my tomatoes de my onions, my cilantro. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by putting all of the tomatoes into the food processor and I'm gonna turn them into a pulp. This is gonna be the, the base of our salsa. So we're gonna take them all, just put them right in here and we're gonna run them down to a pulp. That. And we're going to pulse it for about a minute. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that and we're actually going to dump it out into a bowl. That'll be the base of our salsa. Looks delicious. And let me tell you what, it is so awesome that I was able to make my own tomatoes well, my own salsa out of my own tomatoes. The tomatoes grew themselves, I grew them outside, but this is gonna be fantastic. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add all three of the green peppers. We're just gonna put them in right there. We're also gonna add all of our onion, our cilantro, and our garlic cloves, and we're gonna mince this up real good. And the way we go. And we're not gonna do this quite as long. About 30 seconds is all we need to do to this. We kinda of want this to be just a little bit more chunky to give a little consistency and chunk to our salsa. Oh man, that smells delicious. And we're gonna go ahead and just add this to our bowl. And now we're gonna add our can of diced green chilies. You can buy your own green chilies and dice them up yourself. Uh, but these canned chilies are just delicious and it's really simple just to go ahead and add those right in the can. So we'll do three cans, four ounces a piece, three tablespoons of olive oil, and three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. A small lime, I'm just going to take that and squeeze the lime juice into the mixture here. Get a little bit of lime flavor in there should be pretty good. All right, now we just need to make sure that we mix this up really, really, really good. I actually switched over to a whisk, but we're gonna add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And we're just go ahead and mix that in. Now this salsa, you could eat it right away, but it's not gonna really taste like salsa. This is something you need to put in the fridge for about an hour. And you're gonna let them just marinate over time for at least an hour, 24 hours is even better. This small salsa smells really good. I'm just gonna give it a little taste here before it goes into the fridge for an hour to let you guys know what I think of uh, the initial salsa mixture here. Hmm, that's oh, pretty good. And like I said, you can really just add all any and all ingredients you want to a salsa. You can make like a mango chutney, you can do a jalapeno or a habanero salsa. I decided to make just a medium red and green salsa today mixed together because I had the ingredients to do that from the garden. This is actually my first time ever making salsa, but I think it's gonna turn out really great. So, I've covered the salsa, I put it in the fridge for an hour, and we're gonna go ahead and dig in when it's done marinating. All right, it's the moment of truth. The salsa's been in the fridge for a couple hours. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste here. Mmm, that is pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Now I'm gonna get Nikki to try some. I spilled on the table. Hi. That's good. 
Yeah. It is. I like it. Mm -hmm. It just could use like, maybe a little kick. This is my first time ever making salsa, so I think next time I'll put like jalapeno. It's good. Habanero. Yeah, I think we should add a little spice to it, but a, but a lot of people don't like spicy things. I wonder if it's you do habanero delicious, honey. I think. Salsa. It is really good. It's mm -hmm. a great combination of ingredients. Well, guys, thanks for watching this episode of John's Cooking Channel. I hope you enjoyed my recipe of homemade salsa. It is all the ingredients are listed in the description below, but. Making a homemade salsa is so easy. It's something you guys should definitely do. If you have any tips, hints, or salsa recipes that you make yourself, go ahead and list them in the comments below. I like to respond periodically to you guys. Um, but go ahead, share your stuff in the comment section below, and we will build the community known as Cooking with John. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy some chips and salsa, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends on Facebook and all your other social media websites. And we'll see you next week with more cooking from me, John.